Hello, good day everybody. My name is Karthik Margula, aka Karma the Life Coach and today I'm here to talk about the topic of procrastination. I've been, I've been receiving a lot of questions on procrastination so I thought it's very important to address this topic. Uh, and uh, yes, you can also send me your questions by the way in the comment section or even, e even email me. So let's today talk about procrastination. Now this is a problem that plagues a lot of people. So many people go through procrastination. They have very good intentions. They want to be productive. They want to be useful. They want to do something good in this world. But somehow they don't feel like doing it. Uh, so they, they get distracted by the phones or they get um, disturbed by some emotions or whatever it is. And they don't end up doing what they're supposed to be doing. This is a significant problem because when you can't materialize your intention, there cannot be a bigger frustration than that. I mean, outcomes, yes, I understand that sometimes outcomes are not in our hands, but efforts are always in our hands. So if I intended to make an effort and if I don't make that effort, there can be nothing more frustrating than that, according to me at least. So let's look at the questions that I have been sent about this um, and see what someone can do with respect to addressing procrastination. So the first question I have here, I tend to procrastinate a lot in general. It is happening to things I don't like doing, that makes sense. But it, I tend to procrastinate even in things that I like doing. Wow, that's frustrating for sure. I don't understand the feeling I get while I procrastinate. It's probably that I may not do it well, even though I know I am good at doing that task. How should I tackle this? So if you look at the end of this question, the person is saying that maybe she's, she or he is feeling that they may not be good at doing it and hence their mojo is dropping down and they're not even approaching the task. Yes. So things that you don't like and things that you like. This problem when the mojo is down, you will definitely not be able to do even things that you do like. So, first of all, let's understand the thing about mojo and confidence in the first place. Let us say you know that you're good at something and you're still doubting whether it will actually end up being that good and as a result of which your enthusiasm is dropping. Maybe it's not you thinking, maybe people are filling your ears that, hey, you did this but your output was not that great or hey, this is not enough. Hey. Uh, this was not appropriate hey uh, this won't make the cut or something of that sort and people are filling your ears with all this information and then you start to develop doubting yourself them doubting i would consider it obvious you doubting yourself is a further more damage so you should stop doing that altogether let's understand one thing you are good to the extent that you are good which means you know what you know and there will be things that you don't know always so whatever you produce will never be perfect for everyone. I repeat myself again. Whatever you produce will never be perfect for everyone. But someone who needs what you produce will enjoy what you did. So stop worrying about getting the right thing out. Stop worrying about getting the perfect thing about out. Don't make a sense of perfection a stopper in your life. If you know you're good at it, just do it even if it's imperfect. Because what people want out there is their needs getting met. They really don't care whether there is a perfect polish or the proper packaging and things like that. Even if it's a little bit of improper packaging. For example, I want to drink chai and I want it in 15 minutes. You can't tell me that my package is not ready and it's not looking that great. Please wait for one hour and then send it to me. I'm quickly going to check another restaurant out and order from there, right? So it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't at all have to be perfect. It just has to be useful. And for it to be useful, you just need to cover a few basics well, that's all. So don't fall in the loop of this perfection and suck at doing things that you're even good at. Now coming to the things that you're not good at or things that you dislike doing. Okay. So when it comes to things that you dislike doing, what I want you to understand is the world doesn't care about 
whether you like or not they only care about what they need so suck up to the fact that they will demand what they need and just put aside your likes your life should be about doing what is important and necessary not what you like and don't like because if you limit yourself to doing only things you like may i please let you know that even in the things that you like there will be things that you don't like what will you do then <laughs> where will you escape to the end of this universe or what so you can't escape like this so please do not make your life about what you like and what you don't like even things that you don't like make them important and produce your enthusiasm and motivation for things that are important and then you will be able to do with enthusiasm even the things that you don't like i hope that answers the question on both the counts of i'm good at it but i don't do because i'm worried about the perfection and then i am not good at it or i don't like it and hence i don't do it and by the way i'm not good at it uh that's not a problem start getting good at it take a two month break learn a course you know uh, practice some skill do some free assignments you'll get good at anything in this planet so please don't give yourself any bullshit excuses and stop yourself from doing what you are supposed to be doing all right so let's look at the second question now second question says i have tried making time table setting reminders and what not to manage my tasks but i always tend to miss out on something mm, i can understand that i want to be able to manage my time but i feel my brain stresses out when i work more than 20 minutes okay my attention span is less hence i tend to push things ahead help me i am lost all right so let's understand something you have a pile of tasks and you are getting at things as you are getting at and a lot of things are getting missed out also which means there is only two possibilities one you either actually have the amount of time to complete these tasks properly or you are putting a lot on your plate that you don't have the time for if you are putting a lot on your plate that you don't have the time for i recommend not doing that because it's about doing those five or six things properly in the day than about doing than about starting 20 things and not doing anything well okay if you are overloaded on your list please stop doing that it won't work for you instead make it a goal to have a focus list every day don't have a task list task list you'll always have 200 things perhaps okay out of the task list have a focus list for the day maybe four or five items do them really well first and then if you still have time left then go for some more tasks out of the task list for today but first always start with completing your focus list now this way what will happen is first thing you will not get overwhelmed that there is so much and so many things to do there will be few things and you will do them really well without panic and anxiety and then second if you are done with the that focus list for the day then you can simply come to adding any of the other things that you can do which is an it's a nice addition but this is a necessity focus list is a necessity this is a nice addition so you can fill up your empty time with doing some of those extra tasks so that the next day your burden will not be that much okay but in any case if you don't do your focus list and tend to get busy with all the unimportant things you will feel that you are being very busy and on all through the day yet your career will not progress because you are not doing important things i hope that helps in terms of being able to prioritize and getting the important things done and then filling up your time with the not so important things that you need to be doing thank you so much for watching until here 
please share this with anyone that you think may help it help them and also don't forget to like subscribe share and comment so that this reaches to as many people as are in need out there thank you and have a good day